Hey everybody, Spencer Jones here with our Jones and for Expo series. Today um, I am here at Canoe Copia, the world's largest uh, paddling expo around the world. Thousands of people come here over the three day weekend here. We got the last night, Friday night, today Saturday morning, and so it goes all day today and then tomorrow for the morning and afternoon. Anyway, I'm here at the Jackson booth. Let me turn and I'll show you some of the cool things out here that's happening at Jackson. So you have your Kilroy, which came out last year. Uh, or I'm sorry, two years ago plus now. We got uh, Orion coolers. Um, I mean, check out this. So if you want to sit in kayak, the Kilroy is the beast for it. Sit in, super stable, uh, just really, really nice. You can have your dog in there. Already, they even have a tandem one. So you guys can have conversations, you can paddle together or curse at each other, whatever you really want to do, right? Big rig, super stable, uh, ready to rock and roll in a lot of conditions. But here's the kayak I really want to show you. Here, we'll, we'll bring it down this way. We'll, we'll shoot it from the front. And that is the Mayfly. Now, this Mayfly is uh, one of the, the kayaks, a brand new kayak from Jackson for fly fishing only. Just fly fishing, right? I mean, yes, you can use your spinning gear and it works great for that, but let me show you the layout of it. Around, you have to see my ugly mug. So, we got the Mayfly. Check out the overall look of it. Let me, let me go this way here so you can check it out. And if you want to see anything specific, put it in the comments below and I will try to sneak in a picture of it if I can or get it on live video even better. But check out that. So let me walk you through it really quickly. There's the underside of it, you know, the part most people don't like showing. Going up its skirt. Woo woo! Fancy. Which low cost kayak would I recommend, uh, Brandon? Let's see. Um, okay, so... <laughs> That's a tricky question, right? Um, so I, I'm on the Jackson team and all that. For Jackson kayaks, um, if you're looking for a really good, high quality kayak that's a little bit cheaper, I would look um, almost away from the fishing brands, uh, the fishing side of it, and go for more of the recreational. You can easily add on accessories as needed for that. You can also look on Craigslist and get good used ones uh, for that. Outside of this, right, um, other good kayak brands that I've seen worked on. Now, I haven't paddled them, but I've been with people who have, and they hold up really well. And from the reviews I've heard from friends who've used them, like Ascend, and if you're looking for a $500 kayak, it works. It gets you on the water. It's comfortable. They made a lot of great upgrades from there. The biggest thing, to, in honesty, is demo, demo, demo. Uh, try it out. See what you like. Ascend has some really good basic brands. Perceptions really up their game lately. But as far as like high-end fishing kayaks, obviously, Jackson gets my first shout out, but with Native coming out, New Canoe doing what they have, and um, Wilderness, there's so many out there. Yeah, it's tricky. Um, if you're looking for a little, a really good, high quality kayak, check out Craigslist, check out um, used ones. Um, I know here at like Expos, sometimes like Ruta Vega, the, most of the places here have discounts uh, on them for last year's model or other kayaks. Um, so anyway. Um, let's go through this Mayfly. Oh, Kraken. Robert, I love that Kraken. Amazing kayak. I had that out at um, Jones for Sailfish, right, when I did the Sailfish Smackdown tournament on Atlantic Ocean. Superb kayak. I have a 13.5, so 13 and a half feet long. Amazing kayak. Goes, uh, cruises really well. It's heavy to drag on sand. It sucks. Get a cart. But, um, yeah, love that kayak. Highly recommend if you do any offshore fishing. Water, Lake Michigan, any really big lakes, you need to check out um, the Kraken. Absolutely love it. Okay, let's walk you through this. Ron, are you working or checking out? I'm just checking this out. I, this is my fun stuff I do, right? I'm not even working this event. So, we have a little rest here. You can rest your rods on there without making sound. You got built in handles. You have metal, which is nice, not plastic ones. Metal railings, so you can mount a lot of different gear. Let's take you through this hatch here. So, you got nice seal on the hatch boom check out that insert and then you got inside i don't know how much of that you can see inside it's got the styrofoam thing that comes to a nice point so that's the front hatch there's a the front of the kayak so you can see what it looks like it has a nice v on it should cut really well all right then you have to help a stand-up assist strap this thing comes in so handy that stand-up assist oh, amazing what really makes this specific for fly fishing 
And what they're really happy about is this bar, right? Instead of having the, the pedals come out or foot pegs come out of the side, your fly line is going to wrap around that. With this, uh, you know, it's one piece, movable, so you can adjust it for your legs. Uh, it, your fly line won't get hung up. I see a slight issue. It might get hung up here with these just a little bit once you crank them down. I don't think it's going to be too much. They're really rounded well, so I don't foresee much of an issue with that. I haven't fished all this kayak yet, but I'm, I'm really excited to. And, you know, you put your fly line. Uh, more rails again. So the seat here, you have a high low position. Um, you can pin it in and out of the high and low. Just pull the pins, drop it down, and you're set and you can move the foot pegs. Yeah, a rest there. Um, so you can silently, even with padding on it, so you can put your fly uh, reel down without making a lot of sound. One cool thing here, let me show you on this side, is check this out. Pull it down, and there's storage for your fly boxes. So you can easily put your fly boxes off to the side. They have one on that side, one on this side. So you can put your fly boxes there, put them up and out of the way so they won't get hung up. Everything's rounded really nicely, so it's not gonna get hung up. I can see maybe a little bit tightness there. Um, you know, your usual little things, but overall, really nice. Everything's smooth, there's no really sharp edges, except for the little ones I'm pointing out. Um, so that's, that's pretty cool. The seat, usual Jackson seat, thermo rest, comfortable frame style seats. I love the frame style seats, man. I, I, I don't know if I'd go to a kayak without one. They have the platypus pack, so you can stay hydrated. Or, or fun, put some, you know, extra motivational liquid in it, if you know what I mean. And then you have um, a little bit of cooler backpack now, or a seat attachment right so you can store things in there as a little bit of cooler uh, I don't use as much as a cooler it doesn't work that great for me as that but I, I hold extra line and gear it's just a little extra thing right in the back of the seat you have rod uh, rod tubes back here so if you're doing um, you know fly fit or sorry spin fishing traditional south fishing you have those available to you and you got this whole back area that you could put your crate into if you wanted to or a cooler I believe it fits up to a 35 quart Orion cooler um, so that's pretty sweet uh, Randy, you're blown away by this guy. I had no clue they got so serious. Oh man, this is crazy. How would you recommend taking one of these Phantom Waves? Phantom Waves by the Pleasure of Voters. Yeah, it does. Here, let me show you this platypus. I'll, I'll get to your thing in a second, uh, Brandon. So they got this platypus thing, all right? That looks weird, if you know what I mean. Um, Bud Light or Miller Light, you know? Bud Light or Miller Light in the pack, you know? I'm a coffee stout. I'm in heaven. I'm good with like one or two of those, and I'm done without, but yeah. Bud Light Miller Light, I'll let you decide that one. Unless they're going to sponsor me, then maybe I'll give them a say. But right now it's a coffee stout. Any coffee stout companies want to like sponsor Kayak Angler? Okay, so you have more storage here. And then in back, again, you have uh, paddle holders on the side. You can get cup accessories that slide on from ram mounts. And oh, there's so many things. It's crazy, Braden, all this stuff back area again really well lined here um, so it doesn't I get all the packaging out so it doesn't any water doesn't get in now they say this guy I know it's hard to see from now let's, let's show you the back side of it all right so they have uh, a plate there so you can scrape it you know and you're hopefully not dragging across and there's a back side of it there okay we'll get this back in here so it looks all pretty for the show yay Okay, so you're talking about taking on waves, right? Um, really, it depends on your comfort in any kayak. If you're in a sit-on-top kayak, like the Mayfly, um, the Kusa, you know, any sit-on-top kayak, they have these things called scupper holes, right? Which you probably know. Um, scupper holes are these holes right here that when waves come overboard, they're going to expel the water. It drains automatically, which is really, really sweet. Let me show you over here. This is a big rig. A little bit different kayak, right? So the big rig, it's wider, more stable, and it's a sit on top kayak. So when water splashes overboard, it's going to drain. Sit inside kayaks like this is the the Kilroy DT Delta Tango. It's a double one, right? Or the single one here. I'll show you. You get freight back here. They have a top on it, hard top, soft top, and all that good stuff. So with those, you got to be away from a boater, water can come overboard, swamp you, and life's not so good for a little bit. You gotta make sure you have a bilge pump or something like that on it. Uh, when I was fishing on the Atlantic Ocean on my crack, and uh, 
they didn't care about kayakers out there whatsoever. And those boats, I think I had one within 20 feet of me cruising. And yeah, that was no fun, taking on their waves. But you churn, you learn to adjust, and you got to keep your wits about you, stay safe out there. Um, so I, I just, you got to be smart about it and make sure what you're doing. Let me walk you through some of the other. I'm just going to walk you through our booth a little bit. So we have the Orion coolers. I have an Orion cooler. I have the 25 one here. No, you're good, man. Don't worry. Uh, so we have the Orion 25 core cooler. This thing, last year, I had a muse, uh, play I was doing with the kids. With my students, and we had dry ice that we needed and about 10 pounds of meat. It was a weird play. So we had dry ice and meat. I put it in that cooler after the, uh, our first play on Friday night, put it in there. Dry, you know, meat, dry ice, figure that I'll keep it cold enough, whatever. Next day, I get there 22 hours late, or 20 hours after the show ended, right? After I put everything in there, 20 hours later. I kid you not, the, the meat was frozen solid all the way through to the core, frozen solid, and there was still dry ice. It was freaking crazy. I was holding the meat under a faucet as gross as it was just to thaw it out for the show. It was crazy. You, you should check out my... Uh, my um, what's what on the water kayak fishing review show and my YouTube page to check out that Orion Cooler review because it's sick, just nuts. Um, all them scupper holes ain't great when going offshore. I fish the Gulf Coast in Texas. Yeah, um, so I hear different stories about this. I'm a big fan of the scupper holes. Like when I was going offshore um, and uh, on the Atlantic Ocean, right for the sailfish uh, smackdown. I loved it. It was great because all of a sudden these random waves, mind you, this is a northern boy fishing, so it's different. But when I, uh, when those waves came over, uh, it, it went right out and I was no worry. Um, I know other people um, like you, Robert, and Israel, who really likes having the scupper holes in there are plugged the whole time. Really, well, what's your choice? Love the choice of colors, Tracy. I want the red and white blue one. Yeah. Amazing. Like... You get this one, you get all you get all America and, and do all that, or Badger fan. They have a sports teams for the Orion coolers. They have 50% off of the show prices. Uh, they show some cool pictures. Hey, Bridget, if you're watching, look, there you are. Joey, there you are. You're famous up here in Wisconsin. So you got your um, more whitewater style kayaks over here as well. This is a paddling show, not just a kayak fishing one. Here is their big tuna, two person sit on top kayak. Uh, check that sucker out, right? Isn't that sweet? And this is our Kusa HD. Now the Kusa is much more of a, uh, the regular Kusa is much more of a um, river boat, but the Kusa HD is meant more for rivers and lakes. It kind of made a multi-purpose, but I mean, check this out. They have storage in here. I, oh, there it is. Let me open it up and show you. Check out all this. So really nice storage in here. You can pull up, you can put for your fish finder. You're set to rock and roll. Well, then Ain't that cool? All right, last little bit here. I'm almost done. Videos. We got more videos coming up. I'm gonna be going hitting up some different kayak booths, uh, different booths. If there's a booth you want to see that's here, um, you can go to uh, Canoe Copia. It's just Google search. I think it's CanoeCopia.com. Check it out. See what sponsor is here. If there's a video you want to see, and if I'm still around, I'm only here at about noon, uh, noon or one o'clock today. So if there's something you want to see, um, let me know. Back to the Mayfly, their new one, All right? So this kayak is, they say, they say this kayak is made for and really good for like in short fly fishing, obviously fly fishing specific, but good for everything. They even have rod tube storage there, like that. Mm. Um, but uh, they say it's for like inshore fishing, lake fishing. It's really, really good. Slow moving rivers. Here's what I want to do. I want to test it out because this is how crazy I am up here on the Wolf River or the Rock River or a river that has rapids right so we're not talking like a slow gently moving river we're not talking the ahara down here in madison no -uh. i want to take it on the moving water with the rapids and waves crashing overboard and see what this uh this is like so we'll check it out and i don't know we'll see hopefully i get to do that this summer uh we'll see what we can do so this is spencer jones here at the world's largest paddling expo, Canoe Copia, bringing it to you live on Facebook with our Jones and for Expos. Edgar, hit up the Perception. I will make sure I head to Perception, see what they got, and do one just for you. I'll have one of the reps walk us through and give us a quick little spiel about all that good stuff. Thanks everybody for watching. In. Please share, please like, and if you do me a huge favor, everybody, and uh, go to our YouTube page, Jones and to Get Fit on YouTube, and sub subscribe to that. I'll upload these videos there. And there's going to be a lot more uh, fishing and fitness and all that good stuff videos coming that way. 
Thanks for tuning in, folks. Spencer Jones, tuning out.